kuhusu jahanamu zaidi ya binguni kwa nini it is the reason why he came that you may not go to that place called hell Matthew 25 verse 41 he said na atawaambia walio kushoto ondokeni kwangu nyinyi mlio laaniwa Mwende katika moto wa milele mateso ya milele ilio tengezewa shetani na malaika wake so hell was not created for man it was made for the devil and for his angels lakini ikiwa mwanadamu yeyote atapuuza kalvari atapuuza kazi ya msalaba atachekelea na kudhihaki kazi ya kalvari atatupwa mahali panaitwa nini jehanamu i said matthew chapter 25 verse 41 he said there is a place called hell where people go yeyote aliyefariki unayemjua whether your parents your relatives your neighbor your child your colleague your boss your friend yeyote aliyefariki Bila Yesu Kristo, he is not in the cemetery. No. What is in the cemetery? Ni mifupa yake. Ilio kaburini ni nini metengesewa simiti. Waluya wanakujaga badai. Na muache yu kitu. Sio mzuri. Kila mwaka muna kuja kufanya nini makumbusho. You will never prosper. You will go beyond. You will remain the same way. Masimiti, wendo na korogea Saa kumi usiku, wendo ulinua ngombe kachinjwa To renew the demons To renew the family demons And make them more stronger Yeyote mami ulie mujua Ulie uduria mazishi yake And he died without Christ He's alive and well He's even watching you Luka sura kumina sita In hell Ukifa, haunyanganyi senses zako. Unaingizwa kwa another body. Number two, unyanganyi sense of sight. Unyanganyi sense of hearing. Unyanganyi sense of taste. Unyanganyi sense of memory. Utakumbuka kila kitu. Ulichokifanya ukiwa duniani. Janamu imeumbwa kama mwili wa mtu. Jianamu ina tumbo Jianamu ina milango yake It's the most terrible place Kwa matayo shina tano Kwa nzea msaro wa wangapi Mstari wangapi Matthew 25 from verse 13 Down to verse 31 Yesu anasema ni mahali pa nagiza ku Mahali pa mateso na kilio Eti hata ukifa ukiwa kibogoyo, unapeangwa meno. Because kanuni ya kwanza kuwa janamu, you must have teeth. You must have meno. Matthew 25, from verse 26 to verse 30. is a place of darkness. Bishop, listen to this. Janamu siya unye thambi peke yao. Kuna watu, waliketi kanisani kama wewe. Walionja neema ya ukovu Waliketi karibu na kiti charehema They were partakers of the grace of God Partakers of the heavenly gift Partakers of the Holy Ghost That's in Hebrews Hebrews chapter 6 Verse 1 to verse 6 Walionja ufunuo Wauzimo amilele Ujao Walipokea vipawa Vya roho, walipokea neno nzuri la binguni. Lakini wakamua kurudi nyuma. Go to verse number 6. Waliamua kurudi nyuma. Waliporudi nyuma. Haikuwezekana kwa saidia. That's why ni raisi kuubiria imamu wa mzikiti. Kuliko kuubiria dikon alierudi kwa ulevi. Ni raisi kuubiria mtu ambaya kujua yesu. Kuliko kuubiria pastor alie backslide. Kuliko kuubiria kwa ya member, alierudi nyuma. Once you are saved, and salvation is for the few. The few. The few. Njia ni nyembamba. Inayokuenda uzimani.
lakini na ukwenda jahanamu ni pana na wengi wanaifata wanaifata jahanamu sio yenye dhambi peke yao once born again mami work out your own salvation with fear and trembling Philippians chapter 2 and verse number 12 once you are born again work out your salvation with fear and trembling once you are born again work out your salvation with fear and trembling Jesus said ye yote anayenifata ajitwike msalaba wake pay the price for your place in eternity pay your price Ufunuo anasema look for that scripture Be careful lest your name be blotted out of the book of life So once your name is written there it's not forever written You must ensure as a responsibility you must take it upon yourself to retain your name there Jai jaandikwa kuhusu Yuda Iscariot aliyekuwa treasurer wa mwana wa Mungu alitembea naye alikuwa mtu wa karibu lakini bible inasema na ofisi yake apewe mwingine so everybody can be replaced wokovu ni kama mechi ya mpira hata wewe striker namna gani kuna ma striker wengine pale wanangojea tu uko setu uko setu alafu nice man atainua ile vitu utaona namba yako na ya ule wa ku replace that's how salvation is kuna goalkeeper wa ziada kuna defense wa ziada hata coach there's another coach just there waiting for you to fail a good place if the kingdom of god is to be jealously guarded if you're born again be born again there is no one leg kwa yesu one leg kwa shetani no you are there like Shadrach Meshach and Abednego hatukuja church kwa sababu ya vyeo hatukuja church tukange mbele hatukuja church kwa sababu ya unabii hatukuja church tuuzwe vitamba we came because we love him we love him to death we die we die that's the mindset of a believer that is destined for heaven ikuja church kuchelewa kusengenya uko sangi makosa kanisani you have to fault something you have to fault choir you have to fault the preacher you have to fault anything has driven many people to hell today if you are born again work it out seba amen nasema sema amen angalia revelation 3 verse 11 hold fast that which you have for behold i come quickly lest your crown be given to somebody else revelation 3 and verse 11 hold it hold it jealously guard your place he is coming quickly he is faithful that has promised lest your crown be taken by somebody else your crown can be taken by somebody else except you work out can you imagine you are in heaven and you are crownless You are in heaven and you are positionless. You are in heaven but you are homeless. You are in heaven but you are an embarrassment. You are in heaven but you are a pity. You are in heaven but angels wana hangaika to look for a place for you. Why are we still here? After Jesus rose again, na katufia, na katusamee, na tukaokoka. Why are we still here? Tumtumikie tuendeleze kazi yake tujipatie nafasi ukifa na ulikuwa umeokoka na ulikaa kanisani lakini ulitesa injili you are not committed you are why am i talking like this matthew 25 look for that scripture mko ipata verse 26 to 31 tumalize na hiyo then we go jesus is lord you know sauti sema hallelujah Sema haleluya. Kwa sauti sema haleluya. Are you there? Matthew 25. Okay, let me read my own. Biblia karatasi ainanga internet. Aishi wangi na bandos. 
Stima yake ipote yangi <laughs> Aina whatsapp ndani Aina majaribu ya facebook messenger Aina tiktok <laughs> Ambia jirani yako tafuta bibili Angelea paka sahi wajapata <laughs> Matthew 25 Bishop let's close with this one It's very powerful So that you understand Hell is not for sinners only Matthew 25, Jesus words from verse 26. And his Lord answered and said to him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, born again, serving God, but lazy and wicked. Born again, serving God, as a preacher, but wicked and lazy. Born again, serving God in the choir, but wicked and lazy. Born again, serving God as an elder, as a deacon, but wicked and lazy. You come to church draggingly. You serve God sluggishly. You serve God lazily. Shetani mwenyewe ndo anakupokeanga. Ukifa. Anakuambia ya ni wewe. Ata wewe. Umeamua kukuja hapa. Wewe. You have decided to come here. Ulichaguliwa kuokoka Wengine wakaachwa Neema ikakuchagua Mungu akakuita Akakupa kipawa charo You have decided to come here I will supervise your mateso myself Twenty seven You ought to have deposited my money, my gift with the bankers because in my kingdom, I don't condone losses. It's a kingdom of fruitfulness. You can't be here and you're not productive. You can't be here and you are a waste of his blood. You can't be here and you are a waste of, of his cross. A waste of redemption. You must be fruitful. You must be productive. You must be profitable. Verse 28. For two. Therefore, take the gift from him and give it to him that has ten. Verse 29. For to everyone who has more shall be given, and he that has abundance, but from him who does not have, even that which he has shall be taken away. Verse 30, and cast this unprofitable servant. He's a servant, yes, but unprofitable, useless. He has no profit, he has no fruit. And a warm viti to a church, look at his life. He comes late. He arrives when he wants to arrive. He's among gossipers, fault finders. He doesn't see anything good in the service. He has nothing good to say. Their giving is no part of it. Their titan is criticizing. You come this Sunday, you miss the other Sunday. At a courtesy, a kutuma to message, Bishop, I'm held up this Sunday. Kindly to Taunana next week. No courtesy. You just miss out like a toilet. Take this. Rudisha. Ia kongoya ito saidi leo. Rudisha kwa scripture. Cast this unprofitable servant to where? To a place where people weep and gnash their teeth. To a place where this darkness, a place of outer darkness. A place where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Ladies and gentlemen, hakuna hii description binguni. Hii description siya binguni. Ni description ya mahali. Panaitwa jianamu na sipa uye tambi peke yao. Neri mulevi ya kujua yesu. Mwengu muubiri ya liubiri kama mimi katikati ya maubiri ya katamani umarufu. Akatamani hela, akatamani magari makubwa Akabadilisha gospel Akaifanya motivational talk <laughs> Akaona mungu anachelewa bishop Akaanza kuuza vitamba Kuuza mafuta inapicha yake Kuuza kifagio na kifuli Akaanza kuwa nabi tu from nowhere Can I go deeper? 
Heri mtu wa kuokoka kabisa. Kuna watu watachapwa viboko kabla waende jahanamu. Kuna wengine watafungwa mawe kichwani watupwe katikati ya bahari la moto. Kuna wengine mateso yao shetani mwenyewe atasupervise. My prayer for you today is one. Be true to God. Love him with all your heart. What manner of love is this? First John chapter 3 verse 1. What manner ni aina gani ya upendo huu? Mungu akatufia akatuita watoto wake what manner of love is this behold what manner of love the father has bestowed on us that we should be called his children be committed to the one who loves you Yo church mapema Kusikosekane kitu kanisani na una uwezo wa kufanya Sadaka yangu ya kwanza ilikuwa shilingi 350 Nilibeba mizigo sokoni mwezi wa sita 2002 nikalilia Mungu nikiwa sokoni nikamwambia najua niliachia shule form 1 I know Najua nilimwangusha babangu alitaka nisome ingawaje hakuwa tajiri angefanya chochote masinde asome but I let him down Nilimwangusha mama anapalilia eh, kahawa anapalilia mahindi na maragwe Ananibembeleza na 50 Anambia masinde soma Tumetoka jamiza watu Awana jina Awana uko utatusaidia I told God 2002 Mwezi wa sita Kwa soko la kongoea Hapo kwa hiyo picha Rudisha picha sasa And I told God Nitoe sokoni Nitoe wapi Na mimi nitakutumikia Nifanyie two things. How many things? How many things? I told God kwa hiyo soko. Uyu kijana mwenye vest ya blue. Trouser ya brown. Slippers munaona. I cried to God. I said. Nitoe sokoni. Nipe kazi yoyote ya maana. Na ito majina siku pewa na baba. Na ito mchukuzi. Mchukuzi ni beba. Na ito mwizi Na ito lekijana mchafu wanguo moja Mlalaoi Mlalaoi ni mtu wana makao Tukua nalala kwa geti ya soko Tunalala kwa Kwa geto ya kisauni Wanja wa kishada Tunakamato na polisi Atuna kitu na achiliwa Nitoe kwa hii kazi Nipe kazi ya maana Ya pili kusa ulimi wangu Nipe kitu wazungu wanaita language command Nizungumze kizungu safi Na kiswaili safi Nikabeba mizigo Mana kuna kitu ya bure Bishop Mungu wange tuokoa bure Alitoa mwanawe Tuokolewe kumanisha Ikiwa tabarikiwa Sio ya bure Nikabeba mizigo Nika save pesa Mpaka Saturday Nikapata 350 Nikaingia kwa mitumba Nikanua curtains za blue Nikapeleka church Nikaweka Nikarudi wiki lofata Nikawa mudhaifu Sikuli poa Nikakonda Nikapata 200 Nikanua ile ya maruni ya juu Yo nona ya juu Nikanunua Pastor Haron Haron akaniita Kanambia piga magoti Kwa sababu hii Mungu akusafishe Akubariki Akupeleke duniani Uwe muubiru wa kima taifa Kile Mungu aliongea 206 Kupitia uwe mtumishi Imetemdeka leo Kwa maisha yangu Masingari sana kama wewe bwana na ngara kuliko vile lingara kongoea mtu aseme amen simama kwa miguu yako yesu ni bwana nyosha mikono kwa hii madhabahu kila laana imevunjika yesu amelipa gharama au staili kuteseka tena au staili kulia tena hicho kilio kinakoma leo au staili kuteswa tena Yesu alikununua kwa damu yake kataa maro ya umasikini kataa mateso kataa bahati mbaya kataa ndoto mbaya unaota unaanguka kwa shimo unaota huko kwa mazishi na naezikwa ni wewe unaota ukila kizazi chako unaota ukilala mtu analala na wewe kataa kataa laana Yesu alilipa Kila garama, alilipa garama, alilipa yote, aninginia msalabani, ili usiteseke, ili usiangaike. Leo kwa hii olta, tunachilia baraka, tunachilia baraka za Ibrahimu, baraka za Ibrahimu, baraka za Ibrahimu, zinazo tajirisha, hazina majuto, tunachilia leo.
kwa kazi ya mikono yako nyumba yako ibarikiwe mwili wako ubarikiwe kazini ubarikiwe ukitoka ubarikiwe ukirudi ubarikiwe kwa jina la Yesu na tamka leo kwa nyumba yako kutokea mtu mmoja kati ya watoto wako atakayeongoza atakaye tawala atakaye kuwa bora kuinuke watu kwa jamii yako kwa tumbo lako watakao kuwa mauhubiri maaskofu mamisionari watu wa baraka kwa jina la Yesu kwa jina la Yesu. Asante Bwana. Nahisi moyoni mwangu kila mmoja wenu leo ni siku ya pasaka. Nauliza swali bishop. Ikiongezaliwa siku za Yesu askari wa Kiroma akuite. Akuulize unaweza bail Yesu. Unaweza mlipia bail asife hakika ungelipa ungeuza gari ungeuza shamba Yesu asiuawe Ashukuriwe Mungu aliuawa tu lakini tuko hapa leo tunaweza vaa viatu vyake tukawa miguu yake watu wengi wapone watu wengi waokoke mumiasi badilike kwa kusikia gospel na tutafanya hivyo kwa kujitolea aliye na kidogo aliye na kingi kila mtu ajitwike dhabiu ya msalaba injili ubiriwe sema amen wakwapi wanawake akina Maria Magdalene waliomwambia Yesu tunakulilia tunakusikitikia wakabeba magudulia ya maji wakamwambia kunywa maji tunakuombea wakwapi wanawake akina Susanna akina Trufena akina Trufosa akina Priscilla akina Prisca akina Tabitha akina Dorcas akina Aquila akina Tito akina Petro akina Andrea wazaliwe leo What can you give as a price of the cross Kanisa hili linahitaji vyombo seriously Injili ni utatu injili ujumbe injili upako na injili vyombo vizuri the three are one message from god anointing to deliver it and the equipment to back it mzungu mjerumani alinipa hii microphone akanambia man of god preach that gospel kwa preach beba kwa begi yako popote unaenda na ibebaka kwa begi karisi yake kadogo kuliko simu It came from a muzungu from far. Go and preach the gospel. Speaker moja kama hii, sio pesa mingi. 25,000, 30,000. One person can buy two. Monitor speakers kama mbili. One is 19,000. One can buy two. Mwingi anue moja. Sio lazima mchango. Mungu akuchanga tuokolewe. Yesu alijitolea. Akaja kutuokoa. What can we give back? The only way tunaweza shukuru Mungu kwa kutufia msalabani ni kwa kusupport injili yake, kwa kufanyika miguu yake, kwa kufanyika mikono yake, kwa kufanyika kinywa chake, kwa kufanyika wainjilisti, kwa kuleta watu kanisani. Kwa kusupport pastor, kushika mikono ya bishop, kusupport mke wake, kusupport kazi ya Mungu. We can do that kwa pesa zetu kwa mali yetu kwa magari yetu kwa mashamba yetu so kati ya leo na Jumapili leta dhabiu uza shamba leta gari nilikuwa Nigeria 2015 nikavua viatu nikatoa kama sadaka mke wa pasta kanipa hail ni vai nilizivaa kwa hoteli kesho yake Muhammad Mutala airport pale Lagos hadi Port Harcourt kuhubiri tena until you are crazy enough you cannot serve God Yesu ilipiti awe kichaa ili sisi tuokoke when you hold too much i can tell you watoto wetu siku zao watapataje kupona ikiwa sisi siku zetu hatukumtumikia Mungu kwa moyo what you are giving is for your children Unaweza nunua speaker njo usimame hapa sahi. Unaweza nunua speaker njo usimame hapa. You can buy one speaker. 
I know you might have a program ya kununua. It's okay. But hii ni roa Mungu ananielekeza. There's no enough equipment kwa church ya size hii. You can buy one small speaker ni 19,000. Next speaker. Come and stand here. Simama hapa tu. You can buy one speaker. You can buy two. You may not buy one, you can buy half. Stand here ni kuombe. Kwa jina la Yesu. Just stand here. Njoto Mungu upeana mkate kwa naikula na mbegu kwa mnyana panda. Hakuna mtu anachochote. Yohana 3:27 Uwezi pokea kitu usipopewa toka juu. Umpendezi Mungu isipokuwa kwa imani. We believe to please him. We don't please him because we have. We please him because we believe him. Just step forward. You can buy one speaker. Come and stand here. Naweza nunua speaker moja tu. Mtoto wako unamlipia karo. Unampeleka sigalagala. Leo kulea mtoto bishop is the most difficult thing Mungu asipokusaidia. Dunia imeharibika. Unauza shamba unachukua load kwa sako, load kwa benki. Unapeleka mtoto Nairobi University, Kenyatta University. Sigalagala. Unamuingiza pale. Unajinyima hata suruali. Unajinyima usingizi. Hauni vizuri. Mtoto asome, anaishia kuwa lesbian. Anakuwa shoga kwa dormitory. Anakuwa mpitisha badao ya kulevia. Anafundishwa mbinu za kuua mzazi. Anatoka shuleni, anakukata shingo. Ama anamaliza university, anaingia kwa kikundi cha walevi, alcoholic rex. If God can't help you, your money won't. You can buy one speaker one more time in two minutes. Come forward here. Njoo hapa mbele. Hii ni ya watoto wako. Njoo. Njoo kwa imani. Njoo kwa imani. Speaker ni 19,000. Unaweza nua hata na 10,000 mwingine akaongeza. You can give 10k. Come. You can give 5. Come. You can give 7. Come. You can give 3. Come. You can give 2,000. Come. Simama hapa sasa hii very fast. Totoi kwa jina la Yesu. Wenda yako haitoshi lakini kiongezwa na ya yule na ya yule itanunua stand here stand here hata na hiyo 1500 hiyo 1300 hiyo 1700 hiyo 1010 hiyo 2000 stand here na uandike jina la mtoto wako useme popote sauti ya injili itasikika iokoe watoto wa watu kupitia hii speaker kumbuka binti yangu kumbuka wanangu kumbuka watoto wangu kusitokea aliye shoga kusitokea aliyefungwa jela kusitokee atakaye uawa na polisi kusitokee atakaye uawa na watu kusitokee atakaye baka watu kusitokee atakaitwa muuaji kusitokee atakainiua atakainisahau thank you father pigeni magoti taka moja bishop please come yeye ndiye baba yenu yeye ndiye atakaye waombea sio mimi 